Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to take a closer look at the parabola. We're not going to have the parabola right there with the vertex at the origin. We're going to have the parabola in such a way that the vertex can be anywhere in the xy plane. So we've arbitrarily moved it to some different location right here. So the vertex is at this new location where the x value now is h and the y value is k, which means the vertex is now at hk. Those are the coordinates of the vertex. So how does that change our equation? Well, to, in order for us to rewrite the equation in a more general form, we have to find a new value for x. Now the vertex is now placed at this location. We move to the right, so we write this as follows. This would be x minus the amount that we moved it to the right. So that would be h quantity squared. And so that's how we adopt the equation equals 4p. And since we moved up uh, a, value of, a value k, we write y minus and the constant k. So that's how we changed the equation. The only thing we did was we subtract an h from x and a k from y. Does that make sense? Well, let's see here. If x is equal to h, h minus h is 0. That would put us right at the vertex, just like before. And if y is equal to k, so y minus k is 0. So again, that would be the same thing as if the uh, parabola had the vertex at the origin, so the equation does seem to work. Now, what does that mean for the uh, position of the focus, and what does it mean for the position of the directrix? Well, the focus now has moved up, so we have the focus now at a, at a position where the x value would be h, and the y value would be k plus p. So the focus is equal to, okay, so for the x value it would be h, and for the y value it would be, let's see, the directrix is, is up here, so we have this value k, and we have plus p, so it would be k plus p. All right, and what would be the equation of the directrix? So that would be this line right here. Okay, the directrix is equal to, all right, well, actually, we're going to set up an equation because it's a, it's a line that is horizontal, which means that the y value is going to be a constant. So what would be the y value in this case? Well, we can say that y is equal to, now let's see here, the directrix is um, this far above the uh, y axis. Oop, oop, oop. I got this wrong here. Wow, this should be the x-axis, and this should be the y-axis. Wow. That happens sometimes. You've got to be careful. All right, so anyway, it is this distance above the x-axis, so that would be equal to k minus p. That will give you this distance right here, so y is equal to k minus p, and that would be the equation for the directrix. So there we go. We'll change the arrow direction there. So in general now, if we have the equation x squared equals 4p times y, that is the equation for a parabola that is with the vertex at the origin, and that means that the focus is at the point 0p and the directrix is at y equals minus p. But if we then move the parabola to any location, anywhere in the xy plane, we move it a distance h, we move the distance k, then the new equation becomes this, then the position of the focus will be that, and the equation for the directrix will be that. Okay, so now we have a general equation for the parabola anywhere in the plane. Now we can go ahead and show you some examples of how to actually manipulate that equation, and we'll show you also how this equation will then look very much like the traditional equation that we see for a parabola, where we have y equals x squared plus bx plus c or I should say ax squared plus bx plus c. So if you're still interested in seeing this, stay tuned and we'll have some more examples for you to show you how these two, how these two equations are really one and the same and how we can use them to find the shape of any parabola, how we can graph any parabola, and how we can go ahead and manipulate any equation that we might encounter regarding parabolas using these, these ways of re representing the parabola.